water. Earth. Fire. Air. What is up, you guys? This is the Lego Boss coming at you guys with another Lego review. Today we're looking at the Lego Super Mario Adventures with Mario Starter Course, official licensed Nintendo product. This is set number 71360. It is recommended for ages six and up, and it has 231 pieces, retails for $59.99 US dollars. And without any further ado, let's open this up and see what we get. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right, here's the set all built up. Let's check out Lego Mario. So here is Lego Mario himself. Now, it's kind of weird to see how his eyes move along as you look at him. He is really cool all the way around. His hat is made up of a new piece that fits on a two by two stud. <laughs> Every time he moves around, he makes a jumping noise. If you remove this, there's a couple of tiles that mix up his ear and his buttons on his overalls. You can move his hands around just like a minifigure. As for his overalls, you can actually remove them and swap them out with other power up pack suits that, that come in other sets. If you go to the back, he has a little speaker right here so you can hear him. He's got two buttons, one to turn them on and off, and the Bluetooth button to connect to your phones, which we'll get to in a bit. And as you can see on the back, there's a little screwdriver to unlock him. He runs on AAA batteries. If you look at the bottom, oh boy, that's bright. As you can see, there's lights. That way, whenever you put them on a brick or a barcode a tile, you'll detect it as something and defy it by the color or interact with it whenever he scans a barcode. So as of when this video came out, Mario can only interact with five colors. Green for grass. Blue for water. Yellow for sand. Red for fire. And the latest update, purple for the river from the soda jungle biome. You can just wash it off. Now that we're done looking at Mario, let's look at the interactive elements. So as you can see, included in this set are seven interactive elements. Let's start off with these two enemies. The first enemy in this set is this little Goomba. Now he is really cool. I really like how Lego captured him in Lego form, but let's look, take a look at him. As you can see, he has this little uh, two by two of his uh, printed face. Nothing much in the back. The bottom uses an all new uh, feet piece, which will be reused in other Mario sets. If you go to the top, you have an interactive tile with a bunch of bark lines on here. So if Mario steps on him, it'll detect them as an enemy. If you don't know, these things are stickered, but not stickered at home, but in the factory. It, it uses a special type of sticker, that way it doesn't come off, or that way uh, it won't get any print smudges. To show you how this little sensor works, you take Lego Mario, and you bounce him on top of this Goomba. And as you can see, every time he steps on him, he gets a little coin. Really nice. A few moments later. The last enemy in this set is Bowser Jr. Now, I really like the design of him, how they captured him in Lego form, especially with this new uh, shell piece. These little arms that I believe have been used in the minion sets. This little two by three of print of his bib. This new two by four piece of his mouth. 
and this one by three brick prints of his eyes. Really like the little uh, hair piece right here. If you go to the back, he has his own interactive tile, which is kind of uh, different than the Goombas. Here, uh, hold on, let me show you. So how this works is that you take Lego Mario, you knock him over, and you hit him five times. Finish him! And as you can see, it gets a bunch of coins. And after you do that, you have the option to uh, hit him a bunch of times to get more coins. The next interactive element in this set is this warp pipe. Now, this is what you use to start the Mario course. Looking at it all the way around, it looks really cool. Like, I really like how they interpret this warp pipe from a Mario game into this set. If you look inside, there's a little tile of an interactive element that says start. So, to start the course, you just take Lego Mario, place him inside, and you get 60 seconds on the clock. So keep in mind, when you're ever using an expansion course, you need this warp pipe and this in order to uh, start the course. If you're ever wondering, how do I end this Lego Mario course? Well, you're going to need a flagpole, which is this next interactive element. Now, it is so cool to see this iconic flagpole in Lego form. It uses this, this bendable rod piece, which I don't want to bend because it'll ruin it. On top here, you get this 3 by 2 of a tile of a flag of Bowser's logo. And on top, you got this little ball piece that makes up the pole. Going to the bottom, you have this little interactive tile that, shows, that says goal with a little Bowser logo. And if you place Lego Mario on here, Intentionally, it's supposed to say end, but all it shows is your record coins. So let me demonstrate that. Hold up. So if you were to take this warp pipe, Here we go. and if you want to end the chorus, you put it on top end, the flag pops up, and it plays the end theme. And it would show the number amount of coins that you would collect each course. The next element in this set is this question block. Now, in the game, you're supposed to hit it from the bottom, but I guess in this set, you're supposed to hit it from the top because there's a uh, element tile that uh, has a barcode with the question right here. But from the sides, you can see they reuse these brick pieces from uh, the Lego City sets with a uh, two by two uh, st uh, stud piece in the middle right here. It stands on these two clear window pieces to help it float. How this works is that if you take Lego Mario and put him on here, it would randomize between a Power Star, Power Mushroom, extra coins, even extra 15 seconds of time. So let's test him out. As you can see, the longer you put him on here, the more it randomizes. And as you see, it has a star. And with the star, you can use it to take out Bowser Jr. or any enemies with a lot of coins. I am invincible! Invincible! If you put him on here again, you get extra coins. Now let's see what we get. One coin. But if the course starts, you could get a mushroom and 15 seconds of time. So uh, this is really cool. The next interactive element in this set is this little plank. Now uh, it's basically just a normal plank on top of this little base that's on a swivel connected to the blue base. And on the top here, or in the front, there's this little a sticker, like I said, these are applied at the factory. It has this little arrow here, meaning it's one of those interactive elements where you get to uh, move them around. So how this works is that you take Lego Mario, you place them on here, and as you move them along, the longer you put him on here, the more coins he gets. But once he falls over, he gets knocked out for a few seconds. But thankfully, he comes back up. The next interactive element is this cloud, and no, Lakitude isn't included, but A, we have something that he can fly around. It's got these new cloud pieces that make up the sides, and if you go to the bottom, there are these little uh, smooth tiles that help glide around, and on here, you got the interactive uh, tile that has a little cloud. How this works is that you take Lego Mario, you place them on here, and you take the side, and as you shake him and move him along, he makes noises and he flies around collecting coins. 
Now let's move on to the terrain of the set. Here are these little terrain pieces that could be used if you want your course to have Mario going up to a high elevation. So like this. Each of these terrains use up to two of these little base pieces per terrain. Same thing with this one and the other one, but they use different types of bricks to make them go higher. Here we have is this other little base that is supposed to be in water. That way in case you want your course to be water themed. So here are these little castle pieces which can be used in, in separate ways to make Bowser Jr.'s castle. So you can have his little castle like this where you can place him right here and you can have Lego Mario here knock him over and then you can do the whole thing. Or you can stack them and have Mario jump all the way up and knock him over. And if you don't feel like knocking Bowser Jr. off the castle with uh, manually, you can use this little base plate here with a little lever here. So you can place the castle on top of here and then fling it off. In my opinion, this feels like an easier way to knock over Bowser Jr. I am invincible! Invincible! The last terrain in this set is this little lava build. Now, uh, there's nothing much to it. You got these little uh, two by two round tiles that uh, make up uh, stones. And the objective is to have Lego Mario cross it. And like what I mentioned earlier, if he touches red, he catches on fire. And if you play some fire for too long, this is what happens. He gets knocked out for a bit. Also included in this set is these couple of scenery builds that consist of a cloud, trees, and flowers. The last few pieces that come in this set are these little plate pieces so they can help uh, connect your courses with expansion packs and as well as these little base plate pieces so you can help Mario uh, bounce around on top of. Okay everyone, I got this whole course all built up and the app ready on this iPad. Let's get into the course. 60 seconds on the clock. Time to go up this hill. Get on the cloud. Time to land over here. Time to grab some coins. Oh, he's been knocked over. Bowser Jr. Get over here, Goomba. Oh, time's running out. Oh, I got the star ability. I won. As you can see, all the coins tally up, and it'll tell me how much I damage I did, and we'll show the coins I collected, and tie them all up, and I'll show that how long it took me to complete the course. And as you leave, you get the option to make your own course, or you can just, well, leave it blank. But I'm not going to do that right now, since uh, I'm just testing it out. So overall, how do I think of this set in general? Well, I really do like how it comes with this really cool Lego Mario and how you can expand your set and create it however you want. And really like all the play features that come in this set and really like how they captured all the moments from, from certain Mario games. Really enjoy that. So what do you guys think of this set? Leave a comment down below. Also give me some suggestions of other expansion courses you want me to check out. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Lego Boss, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye. Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario all together now.